just wanted to talk to you a second before we start our Bozo Big Top show. Bozo's going to pull a real funny with this special balloon, so don't tell any of the other boys or girls. Okay, I'll see you as soon as the show starts. <laughs> By here. Oh, I better, I better give the balloon to one of my pa- Hey, uh, would, would you, John, would you hold this for me, please? Thank you very much. Just, uh, <laughs> he's holding the balloon, and the balloon went kaflooey all the way up there. Well, I'm glad you stopped by. Do you know who's going to be visiting here at the Voodoo Big Top today? <laughs> my pal Clank the Tin Can Man. And a very important uh, person is going to be here. He's a famous juggler and uh, all these kind of things. He's from Europe, and he's played before kings and queens, and he's going to pay a visit here to the Bozo TV Circus. Carl Carlson is his name, and we're going to take you on another special Bozo adventure, plus another try at our bonus game. Circus! Stop the circus! Stop the circus! Wait a minute! What are you doing here, sir? We're, we're having our little show here. What are you doing? Well, the owner of the automobile with the license plate number... Three, two, five, oh, four, three, oh, eight, one, seven, oh, six, five, seven, eight, five, three, one, oh, nine, one, two, one, four. Please move his car. Why? Because that car, that license plate, is blocking the drive. What well, would you please? What's going on here? <laughs> Time now for Butch for the Day here under the Bozo Big Top as we swing around and see all my Bozo buddies. Wow, we, cause how we got some happy looking uh, boys and girls here today. Would you all sit up straight and talk? Put on those big Bozo smiles because today, today, one of you beautiful people right here. In the center ring of the Bozo TV circuit, it's going to be my helper, my sidekick, my butch for a day, as we swing around to show everyone at home that you arrived here safely, and to show those big, bouncy Bozo smiles that I love to see. Wowie, kazowie, more Bozo buddies on this side of the big top. Look at them all, right assembled here in the center ring of the circuit. By now, I'm sure you know how Bozo picks his butch for a day. I go right to the center of the ring. I close my eyes real tight, and then I go into my magic Bozo's pit! So boy, I guess it, it must be this fella right here. Hi, Alexander. Well, it's nice seeing you, Alexander. I see you got our big Bozo hat on. That looks kind of nice. But we got something else for you. Bring it in, Mr. Ringmaster! There it is, your butch hat and also your coat. Thank you very... Oh, and magic things always happen on here in the Bozo TV circuit. Put this right on, Alexander. I think this will look good on you. And I'll also have... Uh, put that on like that. I think that's pretty good. I also have a goodie bag for you, Butch. Well, I think you're going to enjoy it. Hold on to this and look what's inside this goodie bag. You see what's here? Listen closely to my, my Bozo talking doll. Listen. Oh, Nelly, my doll says that's for you. I'll see you later on, my new... That's terrific seeing you right here. Oh, Stop not the again! Circus. Not again! Stop the shark now! Look at Stop sir! The Look, sir, I don't know who you are, but what are you doing interrupting our Bozo Big Top show here today? Have you heard about the elephant that was thirsty? The elephant that was thirsty? No! Well, he came to a big river and he put his trunk in and up came a crocodile. 
A crocagator? Oh, that must be a cross between a crocodile and an alligator. That's right. And the crocagator stepped off his trunk. And what did the elephant say? I don't know. Danny, Danny, Danny. Where you? What are you? Where you? No, I don't know who he is. Here in the Bozo Big Top right now, we're very proud to present a real happy surprise. I know a lot of my pals love juggling and all kinds of tricks. And our good pal of Bozos is here from Europe. He has performed before kings and queens all over and is going to show some of his razzle-dazzle right here in the center ring. So let's make him feel at home, the fabulous, fantabulous Carl Carlson! <laughs> And now, for the first time, boys and girls, anywhere, we have the great privilege of presenting Mr. Carlson to do one of his fantastic tricks. It's mouth juggling, and it's never before been performed right here in this country. He's one of the few jugglers to be able to do this. So I hope you're set to go. Mr. Carlson, we're ready for you for that fantabulous trick. Thank you very much, Mr. Carlson, for stopping by. I just talking to... Oh, Mr. Carlson, are you still here? Oh, he's doing another one of his terrific tricks. You want me to come over there? Well, sure, whatever you want. You know. Now, what do you want to do? Just, just look at that? Is that it? You won't hypnotize me or anything if I look at it like that, will you? Oh, Bozo's learning how to hypnotize people. Hypnotize? Yeah, you know, put people to sleep. You couldn't put me to sleep. I ain't sleepy. All you gotta do is keep your eye on the shiny object. Don't take your eyes off the object, Butch. One, two, one, two, one, two. Getting sleepy, Butch? Nah, I'm wide awake. See ya, Bozo. What did I do wrong? The book says, just keep your eye on the shiny object and count. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. your book. Bozo, where are you? Bozo! Hello? Police headquarters? My pal Bozo's asleep. 
Asleep? So let him sleep. There's no law against sleeping. But you don't understand. He's walking down the highway asleep. Sleepwalking. Calling all cars, calling all cars. Be on the lookout for Bozo the Clown. Last seen sleepwalking down Highway 99. Breaks up, bro. Out of me way, you wacky clown. Oh, I can't bear to look. Proposal? He's liable to get hurt. Hurry! I'll get height. Bozo, stop! Bozo! Bozo, look out! That zany clown before it's too late. Bozo, wake up. Bozo, come back. You know what? My pal, Clank the Tin Can Man, should be around the circus today, and I haven't seen him. Wait a minute! Hark! I hear his music! There you are, Clank! Oh, hello, Bozo! <laughs> Whoa, Kazo! What, what in the world is that? I met the professor on the other side of the circus, Bozo. Oh, my pal, Professor Tootenfoofer. I mean, Tweety Pooper, yep. And he said you love reindeers. Yeah, I love the way he makes those balloon animals. This is a reindeer. And this is a present from the professor to you, Bozo. A present for Bozo? That's right, Bozo. Well, ding dong, daddy. That's terrific. <laughs> well, good. Can I... Hey, let me show it to some of the boys and girls. It's a terrific little reindeer. He can do wonderful things. I'll just put it down right right over there. Now, stay there, nice little reindeer. Don't don't, don't, don't go away. He can stay right there, and I can tell you that, that some of the things about that reindeer, it's just great the way the things can happen with that reindeer. You, have you ever seen that reindeer? For a minute, I... Oh, Bozo! Oh, you, there it is! Bozo, you forgot your reindeer. Well, didn't I take the reindeer over there? Yeah, I Bozo. thought I did. <laughs> well, something's yeah, going on here. Oh, wait, well, I wanted to just show it to the boys Put and girls. Over there, Bozo. Oh, you're a funny reindeer rambling around. Now, stay still, will you? Don't move now. Stay right there. Just stay still, reindeer. Good. Now, what I wanted... Bozo! You There's forgot your reindeer. There's something funny going on here at the big top today. <laughs> 
Now, Clank, I have a funny feeling oh, you're up oh, to one of your no, tricky no, tricks. No, I'm not playing any tricks today. You just have to forget them, that's all. Now, boys and girls, would you do me a favor and you at home, please keep your eye on this reindeer because I love reindeers. And I... Wait a minute now. Just Steve. Don't... You keep your eye on this, will you? I don't want that to just... Oh, Clank! I saw it! I just saw it! <laughs> what are you? What are you doing today? That was a trick you were playing on Bozo, wasn't it? Bozo? Yeah. I was just playing a little trick on you, but I know you love reindeer. Oh, I do. They're, 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 that's one of my favorite animals. We don't see too many reindeers around, but I love them. I love you them. You really love them, Bozo. Well, yes, I, 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 I don't love them. Love them, I love them. That's well, it, I like you them. You really, yeah. really do love them, Bozo? Yes, yes. You would love to have some reindeers, Bozo? Oh, I'd love to have some, you mean real reindeers? Real reindeers, Bozo. Oh, I, I think I would. I, I really would. Okay, Bozo, if you'd really like to have some reindeers. <laughs> For the Bozo Bonus Treasure Chest Game, bring in the Treasure Chest of Toys, Mr. Ringmaster! Oh, Billy, here we get the hat to see which lucky boy or girl will get a chance at our special bonus stunt today. Where's Butch? Have you seen Butch around? I never can find Butch when I need it. Where's Butch? Have you seen him? Where? Oh, there you are. Come over here, Butch. Close your eyes real tight. Put your hand inside there and pick out one of the right inside the hat to pick out one of the numbers and we'll find out which boy or girl will get a chance at our treasure chest stuff today. It's number 4343. Oh, that boy right there. Good. Come right here, son. Well, you're Steven. Well, how old are you, Steve? Seven. Seven years old. All right. Tell you what we're going to do. The name of this bonus treasure chest game is called Hoop the Bottle. Now, you stand right on the tip of this star and Bozo's going to place the bottles and the hoops around for you. Take these bottles right here, and if you notice, there's a number on each of these. Now, I'm putting the, the bottle with number one on this point of the star, the bottle with number two on this point of the star, and the bottle with number three is there, and here's number four. There are four green bottles, and here are my hoops. Now, Stephen, this is what you have to do. Listen closely. You have to get one hoop on one bottle, and then one hoop on the other bottle, and all the way until you get one hoop on all four bottles. You keep trying as many times. If you get a hoop on all four of the bottles, you win the treasure chest. You start with number one, then you go to number two, then number three. And when I say go, wait a minute, wait a minute. We'll give, we haven't started yet, so we'll give you that as a sort of practice try. Wait till I say go, because you have to do it within our time limit, 30 seconds. Ready, Steve? Here we go. All right, there's one. All right, now try for number two. Good, okay, good, good. Now, I try, keep trying it now. All right, just keep trying it. Bring him in, Mr. Ringmaster. Might just try it a little harder. Almost. Oh. All right, keep trying it. You still have some more. Keep trying it. Here's some more. Come on, just keep going. Get number three. Oh, one more, one more. Oh! Boy, he got it the last second, but you, you, just did, you just didn't get to number four. That's pretty good, Stephen. Pretty good, and a good try for you. What do we got for him, Mr. Ringmaster? Oh, I know you're going to enjoy this. A beautiful erector set for you to have a lot of fun with. Thank you, Stephen, for playing our Mojo Bonus Printer Tester. That's kind of fun to do because you have to get them in order one, two, three, and four. You know what happens when nobody wins our treasure chest. We add another prize. What do we add now, Mr. Ringmaster? A special Monkey Division battle jacket we'll put right in here, and we'll have all kinds of fun with that. You know what I just noticed that here? There's one thing that Bozo likes to do every once in a while. I, I like to show everyone how what a good drum major I am. Let me see if I can just get this turning a little bit. Hey, yeah, I got it going there. Up and down, look at that. Do you know what we haven't done in a long time? Steven, come here for a second. I just come over to Bozo for one minute. You know, there's a game we like to play uh, in the Bozo TV circus. You know what we call this? We call it Bozo Big Eyes. Now, what I want you to do to see if you've got Bozo Big Eyes. Now, open your eyes as big as you can. Make them bigger than that. Can you make them any bigger? Bigger than that. Whoa, bigger. Oh, Millie. That's pretty good. All right, let's try a little girl, see if we can do it. Okay, Marge, come on down here for a minute. Let's try a little, little girl, Margie. Are you good at big eyes? Do you think you can make big eyes? Now, now you just stand right there and just look right at Bozo and make your eyes big. Bigger! 
Bigger than that. Come on, bigger. Bigger than that. Come on. All right, well, let's try one more pal. Who else is good at big guys over here? Okay, let's try another one. Are you good at big guys? Then? Okay, come on over here, John, uh, Jim. Jimmy looks like he'd be a good big eyes guy. All right, now look, Jim, I want to tell you what, you stand right there, and I'll come right over, right over here and make some really big eyes. Go ahead. No, no, your hand. No, without using your hands. Make your eyes like they're popping out of your head. Bigger than that. Bigger. 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 Ooh, bigger than that. Hey, that's pretty good. That is pretty good, big eyes. I tell you what. Do you hear what I hear? You know what that sound is? It's time for Clank. Let's see it right now. Come on in, Clank. I was having fun with my big eyes game. I was playing with all my pals here in the circus. And you know what I thought it'd be fun to do? To do some dancing. Are you in a dance? I'm in the mood, Bozo. How about you at home? Are you ready to do some dancing? Will Mr. Music Master Moister Sir strike up the band? Okay, just the first row now. Who wants to do some... Okay, let's dance everybody there. Come on, Clank. 